Hello and welcome to Art and Animation's Introduction to Adobe Animate. In this tutorial we are going to see how we can animate a flying kite with simple techniques. We've got a vector for the kite and a background ready. We unlock our kite layer and double click the symbol to enter it as seen in the video. Inside the symbol we can see three layers which have different parts of the kite on them. We now set our timeline to frame 15 by selecting it on all three layers and pressing the F5 key to add frames. We then delete the color fill on our kite for the time being. We do this to avoid any distortions cropping up when we use the shape tween to animate it. We lock all the layers except the kite drawing layer and we add a keyframe on frame 8 using F6. On this keyframe, we're going to modify our shape using the selection tool. The shortcut is V. Please see the video for the modifications in detail. We now select random frames on this layer, right click on them and select create shape tween from the menu. We can see that our shape is morphing into the modified shape on frame 8. We now select the first keyframe on the same layer, press and hold down the ALT key and drag the first keyframe to the last frame so that the animation can play in a loop. We again select random frames, right click on them and select create shape tween from the menu. Now we do the same on the two layers which we had locked earlier. Please follow the video for the details. After this is done, we can fill the kite using the paint bucket tool, the shortcut for which is K. Please look up the process in the video. You can see that we are using a reference image which we have downloaded from the internet. And we have imported that into our file here. Just like that, you can use the reference image of your choice. You can download any image you like and follow the colors on that and color your image just like your reference image. We exit the symbol and we extend the timeline here till 6 seconds. That's 180 frames using the F5 key. We can take a look at our animation by pressing the Enter key now. Next, we're going to move the kite around in the sky. Let's double click on the kite symbol to enter it. We'll keep the string layer hidden for the time being as the string will be adjusted key by key after the kite's movement is done. We select random frames on the kite layer, right click on them and select create motion tween from the menu. Let's keep our timeline slider on frame 30 and we move our kite as seen in the video. After we've moved our kite, we can see the path on which the kite will be animated. We can curve the path so that the kite will look better and more natural moving in an arc. Please follow the video. Let's go to frame 45 and move our kite again on this frame as seen in the video. We now go ahead and move our kite on random frames. Please follow the video here. You can also experiment with the movement if you like and see what comes out of that.
we allow just our string according to the movement of our kite. We can do this either by adjusting our string to match the kite key by key or we can use this using shape twain. Adjusting it key by key takes a lot of time but the results come out better. So here we go and add keyframes on every frame in the timeline using F6 as seen in the video and we adjust the string according to the position of the kite. Please keep up with the video here. Once this is done, it's time to look at our animation. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you for watching.